What are you doing right now? If you're watching this video, the chances are you're sitting down to do so, just like I am. And we're not alone. Did you know that the average Canadian spends about 70% of their time engaging in sedentary behavior, like sitting? In fact, we spend so much time sitting that our health experts are equating living a sedentary lifestyle to being the new smoking, due to how common it is and the negative impacts it has on our health. But what exactly is a sedentary lifestyle? It can be defined as engaging in a lifestyle that involves low amounts of energy expenditure paired with an excessive amount of sitting throughout the day. Many of our lifestyles require us to sit a lot for long periods throughout the day. We sit in traffic on our way to work or school, while we are studying, using social media, at social events such as going out for dinner, in school, and we even sit to relax at the end of the day. The problem is our bodies are not made to sit. They are made to move and be active. And all of the sitting can really add up to have negative impacts on our health. According to the World Health Organization, physical inactivity related to living a sedentary lifestyle has been identified as the fourth leading risk factor for global mortality, accounting for an estimated 3.2 million deaths globally each year, which is about 6%. Individuals who are less active are also at a higher risk for developing multiple health concerns throughout their lives, including cancer, stroke, diabetes, obesity, cognitive decline, depression, a poor immune system, and poor muscle mass. In 2009, physical inactivity was responsible for about 26% of heart disease, 27% of diabetes, and 21 to 25 percent of breast and colon cancer cases in Canada. This sedentary trend not only has negative impacts on our health, but also causes an economic burden to the Canadian healthcare system. According to a report released by the Conference Board of Canada, in 2009, inactivity cost the Canadian economy $6.8 billion a year. That comes to about 3.7 percent of the total healthcare costs for that year. That's a lot of money for something that's easily preventable. The Government of Canada has teamed up with Participation to help set guidelines for healthy lifestyle. Participation recommends that adults ages 18 to 64 get at least 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous activity a week. This breaks down into roughly 30 to 60 minutes a day. There are many different activities to take part in to be more active, such as walking, biking, jogging, swimming, or gardening. Although it doesn't sound like a lot, only 15% of adults in Canada actually meet these requirements, leaving 85% of Canadians that do not. If 150 minutes of activity a week seems overwhelming, take a look at the breakdown of sedentary behavior within a week. In total, there are 10,080 minutes in a week. Approximately 3,360 of those are spent sleeping and 3,990 minutes are spent engaging in some type of sedentary behavior. If we can spend about 7,500 minutes being sedentary in a week, it should be manageable to engage in 150 minutes of activity spread across the entire week. With busy lifestyles and demands, it can be hard to find a whole hour in the day to devote to exercise, but there is good news. Researchers have found that even small amounts of physical activity throughout the day can reduce the negative effects of a sedentary lifestyle. To show that it is possible to fit physical activity into a busy schedule, I asked university students about different ways they stay active during the school semester to help fight the effects of a sedentary lifestyle. Here's what they said. Stay active, I go on hikes. Stay active, I do hot yoga. I walk to work at the hospital. I stay active, I walk to the grocery store. Stay active, I do squats while I brush my teeth. I walk to school instead of taking the bus to stay active. Stay active, I play hockey. As you can see, there are many different ways to be more active and break the habit of sitting all of the time. You don't need to start a new exercise routine or run a marathon. You just need to find simple, everyday ways to move more. If we could all work at increasing our activity in small ways, we can effectively reduce the negative health consequences and economic burden of a sedentary lifestyle.